Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with another bare bones test. This time it's going to be the Ram 7, an AR that is a lot like the Ram 9. In fact, the numbers are very, very similar except for a couple of things. First, the fire rate for the Ram 9, the SMG, is much higher. Second, the minimum damage range for the Ram 9 is a bit shorter, almost half. Other than that, very much the same weapon. So let's take a look at the Ram 7 and see what the basic numbers are. All right, you have a headshot damage of 46, very close to what the Ram 9 gives you, and 36 for the upper and lower torsos, 32 for the legs. If you're looking at the range, 33 meters, which is going to be plenty for all the maps that we'll play. For the effective damage range, with a minimum damage range of 53 meters. The rate of fire is a quick 750 rounds per minute, and bullet velocity 780 meters per second, so we can reach out and touch people very quickly, even if they're running. Recoil Oil is not atrocious, 24 degrees for the kick, vertical is 42, 17.31 for the horizontal. Let's take a look at that reef coil and the shooting range. First, hip fire and no control. Slowly climbs up and slightly to the right. Now aim down sight with no control. Same thing, although the amplitude looks a bit higher. We got into the black part of the ceiling. Interesting, because that doesn't happen at hip fire. Now we'll try to control it, and it's easily controllable. All right, let's go back to the numbers. Accuracy, hip fire, 3 degrees per second. The max is 7.7 .7 degrees per second. Flinch resistance at 0.15 newtons. Tactical is pretty accurate at 3.1 degrees per second. Mobility, nothing to write home about. Close to 5 meters per second. Crouch movement speed, if you're sniffing your toes, at 2.4 with 5.5 meters per second on the sprint. ADS movement speed is okay at 2.8 meters per second. ADS speed is a little on the slow side at 240 milliseconds and sprint to fire is decent at 189 milliseconds it takes roughly three seconds to reload whether you're empty or you have a few remaining half a second longer if you shoot it to empty let's take the ram 7 bare bones onto the field of honor see what improvements attachments can make and remember everything comes at a cost and see what it does for grandpa factory settings and what it does to grandpa's friendly enemies Let's go. All right, free for all in Dust House. Let's get into it. Grandpa gets gacked right off the bell. We got Megatron there. So the one thing I noticed pretty quickly is it takes about 10 rounds to kill somebody. 10 rounds of shooting, and I realize, ooh, the incredible eraser man. The pay-to-play or pay-to-win pay to skin. There he is again, moving fast, like a rubber ball bouncing off the thing. Let's, let's, let's look at this. That was well done. He deserves an applause. Okay. Very interesting comment made by one of the guys, one of you subs, and that is he thinks pay-to-win pay to skins actually get more damage or take less damage. I mean, he's suspicious of those. I've never thought of that. Anybody else think of that? Comment below. I mean, it's brilliant conspiracy there. So, going back to 10 rounds to GAC. Now, I don't know how many of you are watching the pros play COD Champs this weekend, but they don't, they don't kill in three shots or four shots or whatever it's supposed to be. Not normally. Sometimes, obviously, they do. But they throw some bullets down range, and they're accurate bullets, but it's still more than the typical perfect condition you're going to take three shots to kill. Plus, the fire rate is such that pulling the trigger, making sure the enemy's gacked, coming off the trigger, Grandpa's imitating a Muppet there for a second. Muppet imitation. There is a Muppet. Pulling the trigger, coming off the trigger, there's... About 10 rounds to go by. 10 to 15, sometimes a little less. So the first thing on this bare bones that I think I'm going to need is more bullets. Are more bullets. I don't know if you look at bullets as singular or plural as a set. See, that was 10 rounds, and, and, and every shot looked like it hit. 
So at most, you have three GACs before running dry, and it takes three seconds roughly to change out a non-dry. <laughs> Incredible erasure man got stuck on the door jam there. Now there's a double kill to, to end it. So already Grandpa is thinking, especially for free-for-all, that we're going to need more bullets. And more bullets always come at a pretty significant cost. So the rest of the attachments have to counteract that cost. And I have to decide. You can't counteract everything. So I have to decide what area I'm willing to give up. So this larger map, and there's Duckhead. The quack attack. And Grandpa runs out of bullets and the bare bones Renetti. If I'm going bare bones with one, I'm going bare bones with the secondary. And there's a Muppet. And the Muppet's Elvis. So the first thing I do is I punish the, uh, the Muppets. Because better than a UAV, you know they're still going to be there. He tried to... Muppet Grandpa there. And you can see that at distance, performs a lot better than it did in the shooting range. That was just straight on. So more bullets, and I have to figure out what I'm going to give up. And you saw that the there's, I have to switch the secondary quack attacks coming at me. I think he's back there. <laughs> Everybody got away somehow. And that's another one of those skins that, yeah, he got me there. That's another one of those skins that I wouldn't wear unless you do get some kind of advantage like the sub suggested. Pretty thought-provoking post because you can see the yellow from far distances. And that's why I think people that are actually cheating at the game wear outlandish skins. I'm, I'm not saying that he's cheating at all because I don't think he is. There's a Muppet. Got him. But they wear these outlandish skins because they can afford to. They have a little extra steroids in their system. So what am I willing to give up for more bullets? I think you could probably get... There's the Quack Man. And it looks like ADS movement speed is good enough. So that's something I don't want to mess up. Recoil, though, is heavily controllable. I mean, it is not bad. So I think I'll be w willing to give up some recoil as long as it's not obnoxious. Even obnoxious recoil. There I flash myself. It's brilliant. Of course, there's somebody slide canceling through the, through the map. Shoot them in the back. It's a gack. Uh, that guy's going to belong to me. Well, I got somebody and somebody got me. Other than that, if I can keep the weapon as close to factory settings as possible, carry more bullets, give up a little recoil, and that's all I give up, I think that this is going to be a hard weapon to beat because the fire rate is so good on it. I don't know. Based on what you've seen, why don't you comment and tell me what you think it needs? The configured video will be out tomorrow. I try to do these one day after the other so we can remember what it was like and see the results. Yeah, straight as an arrow. Oh, Evil Disney Queen was after Grandpa. There she is again, and she gacks Grandpa. I buy the farm. Would you buy a farm from an evil Disney queen? Of course, we can shoot her in the back. You know you're getting old when the evil Disney queens start looking very good to you. Oh, whoa, 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 where? Here we go. Entering the third trimester of this. And so far, the only thing I'm missing are extra bullets. Important in free-for-all to carry enough rounds for multiple engagements. You can see I'm down to 10. So I only have one engagement left in it unless I change out. 
Recoil is not a problem with this weapon. Close game. There's the quack attack. And somebody just got a double kill. To include Grandpa, Evil Disney Queen. And Grandpa follows up with a double kill. I'm going to Renetti the quack attack there. It's a tight one. Grandpa is sitting on the edge of the seat. But this weapon in bare bones just absolutely performs. We just need two more gags because we just got a double kill. Must have been proximity mine. Wow. I think that's the person in second place. Red Sox Thunder. There's one. There's Red Sox. And there we go. It's a Snickers victory, 30 Gax. So more bullets. I don't want to impact. The ADS speed could be a little better as sprint to fire. I want to maintain that strafe speed, though. 2.9 is good enough. And I want to funnel all the impacts to recoil. We can see if we can build one like that. Please, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace to you. And comment below what you think we should do with the configuration.